already hit a milestone over the weekend, marking 10 years of mixed martial arts action on island. Eight fights took place at the UOG Fieldhouse, with the show starting off with a bang. Saipan's Roman Alvarez set the Fieldhouse off with a big knockout win over Jay Tyron. Alvarez landed a high leg kick to the head of Tyron, followed by a punch that ended their 135-pound matchup in the very first round. Guahan top team UX fighter McLean Alfred and Saipan's Josh Duenas went the distance in the 125 pound division. Duenas secured the early takedown in round one and was able to land some shots while he was in good position. Both fighters would later get back to their feet and mix it up. Alfred picked up some points to start the second round after taking Duenas down to the ground working in some ground and pound. McLean would take the round being the more active fighter. Alfred managed to pull off the decision win behind a big third round where he controlled the action. Suji Kato out of Japan uses wrestling to come away with the unanimous decision win against Tyrone Jones. Jones looked to land up top, but every time he threw a punch, Kato countered with the shoot and takedown. Jones fought three tough rounds off his back, escaping several submission attempts by the Japanese fighter. Tyrone was able to land up kicks and elbows from his back, but didn't have an answer to the relentless takedown attempts by Suji Kato. California fighter Alvin Kagdag and Trevin Jones stepped into the cage for fight number four in the 135-pound weight class. Jones fought off a guillotine attempt by Kagdag after attempting an early takedown. Trev would get the mount and look to land shots when Kagdag reversed action. The first round was pretty even as both fighters did their fair share of work. The second round started with another good exchange from up top, but as soon as Trevin Jones went in for another takedown, Kagdag sunk in the Dars choke and forced him to tap minutes into the second round. Will Chope, standing 6 foot 4 inches tall, was able to turn things around late in the fight against Japan's Takumi Nakayama for the referee stoppage win. Nakayama was all over Chope in the first two rounds, not allowing him to find his range. Takumi Nakayama used some dirty boxing in the clinch and cut Chope over the left eye after the fight went to the ground. Will Chope almost pulled off the guillotine choke several times, but couldn't finish it off. In the third and final round, Will Chope secured a hold around Nakayama's neck and took him to the ground, where he finished him off with several unanswered shots from the mound. Kyle Boom Rages out of Guahan Top Team UX made quick work out of Korean Top Team's Young Kim. Both fighters look comfortable on their feet, exchanging leg kicks and punches for most of the first round. Kyle missed on a right hook and followed up with a left that landed and staggered Kim. Ray just kept the pressure on the Korean top team fighter and landed a flying knee flush on the chin that put Kim out. Kyle followed up with two more shots as referee Big John McCarthy jumped in to stop the fight, awarding Kyle the first round knockout win. Patricia Vitanik and Mary Yamaguchi highlighted the night as the co-main event fight of PXC 40. Yamaguchi stepped into the cage with a record of 11-5-1, while Vitanik sported an 8-6 record. Mary Yamaguchi edged out Vitanik in the first round with the better of the stand-up. Patricia Vitanik would answer and take the second round behind a big slam and good striking of her own. With the fight in the third round, both ladies gave everything they had pressing forward and landing shots. Patricia Vitanik would pull off the split decision win. Spike 22's Kyle Uggen and Japan's Michinori Tanaka ended the night in the main event of PXC 40. Tanaka making his first title defense after winning the Bantamweight title. Michinori looked extremely strong for this weight class and took Uggen down in the first round. The matchup was all about scrambles and which fighter had the gas to go five rounds. Both fighters displayed good transitions and level changes with Tanaka coming up with takedown after takedown. Kyle almost secured a submission attempt late in the fight just like he did against Russell Doan in PXC 38 but wasn't able to finish Tanaka off. Uggen gained momentum in the fourth round but wasn't able to do enough damage to hurt Tanaka. After five rounds, Michinori Tanaka retained the belt winning by unanimous decision.